What's up guys, Officer Purton here and welcome to the lovely state of San Andreas and welcome as well to OCRP and I will talk to you in a bit about what OCRP uh -huh. is but first we're going to go get in our car because we want to modify it. We just got our new car, we need to register it, here it is. This is actually based off a real car that I um, have driven in quite a lot, it's my friend's car an Evo 9, they don't have that in the game so I'm using the Evo 10 but same difference I got my own custom plate, my name is Nick Purton in the game and we're gonna drive down to the DMV to get it registered and then we are going to modify it to make it our own personal car which would be absolutely astonishing so what is OCRP? Well, OCRP is an online roleplay community started by YouTuber Jeff Faviano. And I was actually one of the first members to join. I am an LSPD, LSPD officer, it says in the corner. In reality, I'm actually Highway Patrol, but don't let that put you off. And the purpose is to just live your life. It's not scenario based, it's not DOJ. But you just gotta live your life and the police officers will pull you over if you're speeding and you will get certain scenarios like people robbing banks to get by and you've got to deal with that and that is literally the meat of the bone that's how simple it is and this is my character Nick Purton as I said he's a highway patrol officer and today we're off duty we're not doing anything today we're just gonna go to the DMV we're gonna register our vehicle and then we're gonna modify it and I'll take you for a little tour around the map and explain a few things about how OCRP works. OCRP stands for Orange County Roleplay because this is based in Orange County which is actually in Florida. So you can see some Florida Highway Patrol cars, you'll see some, I believe they're based off, it's not Miami, I'm not sure where they're based, but there's Florida based um, police units, I'll show you them later, and there's also um, Orange County based uh, PD units, there's Florida Highway Patrol units which I drive and we're gonna go on duty in probably the next episode and I will show you all of them. You can see that I have $185,000 in the bank, I also have $11,000 on me and you actually need that money to buy vehicles and buy houses, buy food, that's a big thing in the corner, it's kind of hard to see on this backdrop, but there's two bars, one's green, one's blue. Uh, the green bar is food, the blue bar is water, so if I eat something now, uh, let's have a hamburger, I fancy a hamburger, so you'll see that the blue bar is now filled up because we had a hamburger, and if I go to bottled water and use that, you'll see the blue bar is now filled up. If your food or your water runs out, you die. It's as simple as that, you will literally die. Um, so if you're a police officer you need to keep an eye on that because otherwise you might start dying in the middle of a pursuit. This is a green light. That counts as a green light. I'm going through it. I don't care what you say. So the DMV is in the middle of town. We need to register our vehicle. And I will actually show you the CAD and I'll show you how to register the vehicle. Oh, I should have went through that really. Ah oh, well. Okay, we're in the centre of town and traffic's a nightmare, parking is a nightmare, but we need to find somewhere to park because that is the DMV right there and that is where we need to go to register our vehicle. Yeah, but parking is going to be a bit of an issue. Um, let's go, let's go left, I think. Um, yeah, I believe there's some parking spaces down here, that's a red light. And is there any parking spaces over there? That's a green light. The, mm, I don't know, that's dodgy. That's real dodgy. Okay, I'm just going to park here. This should be okay. Uh, let's actually get in the space, probably. And turn our engine off. Will this work? Ooh, it did. My engine's, I think, off. No, no, it's not. Z? Uh, okay, can't turn the engine off. I'm fine with that. And now we need to walk over to the DMV and fill in an online form to register our vehicle. Let's take a nice little run over because, you know, a bit tedious if we don't. Uh, I'm, I can go. Lights for me. Uh, screw it, I'm going. Don't run me over. Ah! Okay, we're at the DMV and we're doing our online form. I will show you that now. So how you do it, civilian. This is our CAD. 
you know, RP a DMV, but this is how I can, this is how we set about characters. As you can see, I'm Nick Purton, and I need to edit a few stuff about me, and then I'm going to add my plate in. Just ignore the uh, huge anus, that was just me messing around. And we can also register weapons, and we could even go and buy a gun. That sounds like something fun to do. Okay, now we're going to create our vehicle. So the registered owner is Nick Purton. Just for the record, that's not actually my real name. My name is Nick, but not Nick Burton. My license plate is P U R, that's a T, Purton. That's not Purton, that's an asterisk in the middle. And this is a Karen. It is actually really cool the way they've done this. I, I, I really like it, I do. It's yellow, so yellow, uh, classic yellow. For some reason, the secondary colour is mandatory, so I'm just going to put them both in as yellow. And insured, it's going to be insured. We've insured it. It's not stolen. Uh, there are no notes regarding the vehicle. Um, actually, yeah, I'm going to put in the notes off duty highway. Oh, that's a B. Patrol. Hope I spelled that right. Yes, I did. And this is going to be registered in Florida. Create plate. Perfect. And while I'm at it, I'll show you these. I've uh, got two weapons licenses. One for an assault rifle, a carbine rifle, and one for a pistol. And we can also submit a 911 call, which is really cool. I'm not going to do one because it will actually go through to dispatch, and I don't want to do that. So now we can go back in our vehicle, and we can customize it a little bit. Okay guys, the car is done, we've just left Benny's, would you like to have a look at it? Oh yeah, tell me that is not a cool looking car. We are definitely going to rip this up. We're going to whip this thing. You know, not saying it's a rally car or anything, or I want to go rally driving, but it's a rally car and I want to go rally driving. Like legit, I've driven an Evo 9 in real life, I want to see how this thing compares. That looks so cool. Green light. Ooh, come on, move, move. It's my new car. I'm an off-duty cop. And uh, I so want to rip it. Oh, no. The highway patrol, if they catch me at that speed, then... Uh, do I go fast? The answer is yes. 125 miles per hour. And I know that this is a highway patrol hotspot up here, so I'm going to get in the fast lane and slow it right down to about 60. Any cops? Any cops? Nope. Floor it. Come on, let's see how fast this baby can get up to. No cops there. Please don't be. Nope. No cops so far. There's not many on today, but still, they could be anywhere. Right. There'll be no cops up here, I'm sure of it. So, let's just see how fast this thing can go. 125, 126, come on, slow down. Move. I want to get a decent top speed out of it before the end of the bridge. Because at the end of the bridge, there's usually a highway patrol that hangs out on the left. Come on, 100 and... Oh my god, 140 miles per hour. No highway patrol. 143, this thing is fast. And I haven't even got any modifications on, like torque or anything. They're not allowed in the game. Dude, that's crazy. We hit 150 miles per hour. Right, we need to actually drive normally now for a little bit. We don't want to stand it because if we got pulled over, like, for a little bit over, it's just a ticket. But if we're doing, like, 100 plus and we lose our license, how are we going to explain the fact that we can't be a cop no more? Like, seriously. Also, I've got 11,800 in my pocket. I need to put that in the bank because the number below, the 185,000, that is how much money I have in my bank account. So, yeah. And then the money below that, the red symbol, if you, in case you're wondering, that is dirty money. You get that. I should never have that. You get that from robbing a bank, from uh, buying things on the black market. You need that. I should never have that because I'm a cop. I'm not allowed to have that. So... Yeah, if you ever see me with that, I'm getting fired for definite. It means I've robbed a bank or a store or whatever. You can actually rob banks in here and you get a massive replace, eh, replace, replace, yeah, replace response. And um, you get a lot of money for it. You can get like 1.4 million, I think it is, from the Union Pacific Depository. But yeah, I'm not allowed to do that. 
So now I'm just on my way to Calafia, which is the road that runs around the Alamo Sea, if I show you that now. So I'm heading onto this road here, which goes all the way around there, and we're going to rip this car up, see what it's got. So now we're just waiting for a space. It's a fast car, I'm going for it. Wheel spinning all four tyres, that's how you do it. Right, careful through here, a lot of cops hang around in Sandy and Grapeseed. Okay guys, so I set out a little course. What we're going to do, we're going to start by Stab City here. We're going to follow uh, Calafia up here until the first exit. Then we're going to take a left through this very winding, very dangerous road. If we go off the road here, we're pretty much dead. And we're going to follow this all the way along to here where it splits. And we're going to take a right and go back along this road, Cassidy Trail, uh, along the river to get some nice scenery. And then we're going to come back out on Calafia and we're going to go north all the way around the Alamo Sea and our finish line is um, where should our finish line be? O'Neill House which is uh, here that's the O'Neill farm that is our route and we are gonna rip this up see how fast it goes bear in mind if we crash we pay for it what we literally have to pay for our damage which is never ever fun so let's not crash if we can Right, we're ready. I'm just going to pull up to the start-finish line up here. There's no actual line, so we're just going to make one up. So it's going to be about here. Right. Are we all ready? Are you ready, car? You better be. Like, you better be ready. Puritan. What, what should we name our car? Let me know in the comments below, guys. I want a name for this car. I think that would be awesome. Some kind of... You guys should come up for the name for this car. The Yellow Evo this is going to be. I want you to name it. Right, ready? Let's start revving a bit. That's my police menu. Just ignore that. That sh shouldn't have opened that. Right, three, two, one, go. Mm, pretty fast getting off the line. Very fast getting off the line. I am racing in first person because I can't drive in third person for shit. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Let's not kill the quad biker. Taking a left up here, so this is where it gets tricky. You might notice some amazing graphics. I'm using EDRP, which is another community. I'm using the visuals. And I also have a new audio pack in, which I will show you guys in a bit. Which changes the default sirens, weapon sounds, and engine sounds. So it sounds a lot better. So my uh, charger sounds like an actual V8. My guns sound real. And the sirens are actually based off Florida sirens. Don't flip over. Uh, no, 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 no. Um. Uh. And remember, we have to pay to repair this. Okay, a very nice man in a tractor came and he flipped my car over for me. But, oh, it's so damaged. I mean, it works, but it's... Ah, oh, that sucks. Fuck. Right, oh well, we got a rally to finish. Real rally drivers don't moan, they just get on with it, even if the wheel's hanging off. So we're going to do the same, that's a sharp corner. Listen to the rev. Oh my god, this is actually a tricky course. I probably should have picked an easy one. Oh my god, this is actually hard. I'm using a controller. This game is um, on 5M, which is like a mod for GTA. It's an online, it's basically GTA Online with mods and no 12 year olds shooting you with RPGs. So, better, basically. We have no trainers. If you don't know what a trainer is, then it's one of those menu things you can use to make your car impossibly fast and all that. We don't have that. So, if we need to buy something or fix something, we just have to buy it or fix it at a shop. That's basically how it works. This is completely independent. I thought that was a sharper corner than it was. Right, there's a right down here we need to break off. I'm not even looking at the map. Don't, 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 don't. No, 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 no. Four-wheel drive for the win. Let's go. Let's go. Keep going. Keep going. I'm a rally driver. I'm not a rally driver. I'm a cop, but same difference. Around here. Down. Right, it's starting to get faster now, so I need to really have my eye on the ball. Go around here. God, these graphics look amazing. Oh, okay. I'm not a rally driver. I've there's now been that's official. I'm not a rally driver. 
take a left here, over crest, right, bit of a drift there, bit of tail action if you get what I'm saying, you know, happy tail, right around here, I don't know where it goes, there it goes, road splits, that's quite interesting, you don't really get that on rally stages, oh, slow down, I know this is a sharp corner here, this is where people get caught out on that corner, oh my god, the server itself has just come out of beta testing, uh, god damn it, that was bumpy. This is going to be an expensive repair. But yeah, the server itself has just come out of beta testing. Before this we had trainers and there was people being daft so we couldn't record it, but now we can. And I know a lot of people are doing videos on it. So thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah, I really do appreciate it. Left here, over the bridge, don't hit the side. I wasn't expecting that understeer then. Right, this is the real fast part of the rally, left here. Oh, no, 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 don't flip. I don't want another flip, because the next one could write us off. Your engine can actually break in this server. There is a script for that. If we hit a tree, you'll see that in action, but I'm not planning to do that. I'm not also doing the jump, but here. There is a jump on our right. I'm not that crazy. I almost flipped it then. Come on, spin round, spin round. This car probably has to do quite a hell of a service after this. Uh, I'm not going to take the shortcuts, that's cheating. Brakes! Oh, that was close. Brakes. God damn it. I really am trying, I promise, guys. I am a terrible driver, though. Brakes and handbrake. I don't have a handbrake. Oh, that was a cool camera. That looked cool. Through here. I said I wasn't taking shortcuts, I just... If it goes in the water, that is, I've, I've lost the car. Stop. We need to get up here. That was so knowledge it, that's not even funny. Oh my... I hate myself. So yeah, that was fun. Right, let's get that lovely man in his track that came again. That's how we're back on our wheels, I promise. Not like GTA mechanic where you turn the wheel and it flips back on the, the wheels or anything. God, this is bumpy. That is not a straight line. Right here, don't hit the quad bagger, I hit the quad bagger. I am so getting arrested. If, if one of my comrades in the Highway Patrol or the Blaine County Sheriff's Office see me, I am so arrested. Sorry, the Orange County Sheriff's Department. Right, we need to take a left up here. I don't have a handbrake, I don't think the handbrake works, I'm not entirely sure on that, I haven't checked. Right here, straight line, speed run. Let's see if we can hit 100. No, not risking it. Not risking it. Round here. And then it's a left. We'll hit 100 here, definitely. Yeah, 80. Oh, perhaps not. And through here. And we're coming up to the finish line now. Finish line, we're going to finish in front of this house. Boom. Yes. Oh, handbrake does work. That's cool. Uh, my car is so mangled. It's not even funny. Why am I in that camera? We even hit a post when we stopped. I don't know how that's possible. Damn, man. <laughs> this is going to be expensive. Right, let's go. Where's the nearest uh, repair centre? Um, I don't think they have icons. Oh, perhaps they do. Let's do something different. Let's go up to uh, the one in Polito Bay. And let's like drive like madmen on the way up there. Let's not take the highway. Highway's boring. I want to have some fun. This is a rally car. You gotta have fun. So fortunately, I know I shouldn't know this, but I do. Not many people hang around in grape seeds, so we can kind of whip it a little bit around here. We can rag it about a bit. Um, but if we do see a highway patrol, as I said, we are pretty screwed. Haha, <laughs> sick drift. Up over the crest, blind crest, couldn't see a thing. Brake, and into here. How are we on gas? We're fine, 75%. As you can see in the corner, 73.5%, sorry. And then ranked, uh, fence. Sorry. Sorry, sir. I'll pay for that. Maybe. Okay, that was a tight corner with a jump. And right here, don't hit the wall, don't cut. Oh god, jeep, sorry. And through here, nice little lane, I'm taking the shortcut this time. Should we go for the jump? 
Oh, that's so not legit. Let's do it. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Ah. How is this car not dead? But like, it's missing a door. How is it not dead? Here's the lovely man in his tractor. Oh, no, it is dead. Oh, no. Ah. Oh. Dude. Ah, oh, this absolutely... And there's no tow on either, so I can't call someone to tow it. How do I fix this? Okay, guys. I'm not going to say I cheated and uh, bought a tow truck to bring the car down here. Then deleted the tow truck, because obviously that would be cheating. I, um... The lovely farmer who kept flipping me back over, he's a good guy, he does rally on the weekend. He came, he got a lovely, a very thick chain, stuck it around my uh, front axle, and dragged me all the way here. What a nice man. He, like, seriously, good old Jim the farmer. I have to create that as a character, Jim the farmer. Jimmy farmer. That's awesome, I'm going to write that down. Right, anyway, I want to go and I want to show you some of the sounds from that sound pack I was talking about. Unfortunately, I don't think you guys can download it, but I don't know. I'll talk to the guy that made it and see if I can work something out with print in my description. But if you don't see it there, then obviously he has said no. Come on, you jackass. Let me in. Okay, we're going down the highway now, and I found a nice little place to show off some sounds. I'm not going to show you the siren sounds. I want you guys to wait and hear that. They sound absolutely amazing. But as a little teaser to what's coming, I'll show you the gunshot sound. So we're going to rip it up here a bit. Let's go through the wood mill. I've never gone this way, really. Once or twice, like maybe, when I'm on single player. Oh, wow, and then we flip then. I know, there's something in this handling line that needs to be changed, because this car is very prone to flipping. I'm not hitting this at high speed, I don't tell you that much. I've seen what happens when you hit ramps at high speed in this game. Oversteer. Wasn't expecting that. Whip it around here, full throttle. So we're off to the altruist camp, which is like a little camp in the hills. I'm sure most of you know that, but, you know, not everyone plays GTA. So, I thought I'd share what... I try and explain things as best as I can. Right, how do we get this? One of these up here. Um, I believe it is... Yes, yeah, the next one up. So let's whip it around here. And there should be a turning on the right, I believe. Yep, here it is. And this is where off-road turns into real off-road. That's a sharp corner. And we're going to go shoot some altruists. And yeah, I'm probably going to get a comment, this is not legit. I know, I'm just trying to show you guys and explain to you guys what this server is without being too boring. Like, there is a lot to explain. I probably overdid it and explained too much and talked too much, but... You know, I'd rather get it all out in one so you guys understand. Otherwise, I'd probably get questions like, Oh, why didn't you do this? Why don't you do that? Why do you do this? Right, let's park, actually no, let's flip our car around and park down here. I do apologise that I go first person so much, but I, I really cannot drive in first person. Third person, I can't English today. Right, we got our pistol. It is licensed, I'll show you that. So, under my weapons, Nick Purden has a pistol. So if the police do come, on the off chance, that is registered. So, mouse and keyboard, let's switch over from controller. And these are the gunshot sounds. They are freaking awesome. Let's clear this area. There's another guy there. No, he's not an enemy. He's dead. Any more? I know, we should clear out the altruist camp. There was a guy here somewhere. Where is he? Nope, not there. Dude, this is sick. It's like a ghost town. Look at that, that's like one of those things you stick on the back of a horse. And I'm not about the bags to collect poop. Like the... I, I don't know what they're used for, but... That's a saddle, so... I don't know, is this some kind of... Uh, I don't even know what the word is. Like a trailer? People carry a trailer for a horse? I have no idea. There's some guys up there. We got an enemy. You. Oh, these guns sang so good. Okay. Oh, I really want an assault rifle, but I haven't got one. When we do police stuff, it's guaranteed we will shoot someone with an assault rifle at some point. Where are they? There's one. 
technically I've paid for this ammo, so I'm wasting money showing you these sounds. There's a guy on our right. Where's the last one? There's one. There he is. Ah, uh, I was going for a headshot then. Ooh, will he get back up? Is he going to get back up? Come on. Come on. Die, old man. Really? Uh, headshot, bitch. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I showed you the civilian side of things today. I will try and show you the police side of things next time, but as I said, it's still coming out of beta, so we can't record everything at the moment. I know it's a bit sucky, but eh, there's nothing I can really do. I don't want to break the rules. So this has been the civilian side stuff, and I do appreciate I tried to fit a lot in. I tried to explain everything in one. Probably not the best idea, but... Anything I missed, we'll pick up as we go along. And if you guys have any questions, pop them in the comment below, along with your name for this car. Don't forget that. I want to see the names for this car. I want this car to have a name. I'll even change the number plate to have that name on it. So, eight letters, that's your maximum. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you come back for more. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them and click the little bell icon. I really am good at explaining stuff and I got so much information. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.